Hello there, in this video I will show you how to use the ARS cloud dashboard so you can control and monitor your devices from anywhere in the world. So I will show you how to create an account on the dashboard. I will show you also how to create your very first uh, dashboard inside the application and then also to use that to control an LED from anywhere in the world. So for the hardware, because I will need to show you on, on some board, right? I will use an ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip because that's the most used uh, at the moment on the ARIST ecosystem. And I will show you that actually right now, uh, how it's actually uh, configured. So here you can see the project um, already assembled because it's very easy. It's just an ESP board, okay, on the left, you can see on the picture. Um, on the right, you have one resistor and one LED. So just a 220 ohm resistor with an LED and that's all connected to uh, pin number five. So you can use any type of you know LEDs, uh, any pin on any board. Here, I just want to show you how the dashboard is working. So just take a simple board, just turn an LED to it and you will be able to follow along uh, this project. So now I will show you how to first create an account. And after that, I will show you how to actually use that to control this board. So first, let's simply go on the sign up button. Uh, that's my usual account, but I want to show you how to create a new one. So what I will do is simply create an account with maybe test5 at ars.io and I will type my password, I will check this box, and I will now create my new uh, free account for iRest. And here we go. Here you can see that I have uh, a brand new account with no dashboards on it. There should be no devices as well. And you can go here on account, and it will tell you what your current plan is. So iRest come with a free plan, okay? So it's completely free to use. You can protect some devices by an API key. That's not what I will do inside this project because that's not the focus of this uh, video here. However, you could protect up to five devices for free uh, using this, this plan here. So what we'll do here is simply to control a not protected device um, using the ARS dashboard. I will have another video uh, on this channel that will show you how to use this API key. So don't worry, we won't focus on that right now. We'll just focus on how to use the dashboard. So now what I need to do is, before creating the dashboard, I need to actually configure my device that I just showed you before, and I need to connect it actually to the, the cloud uh, of ARest, right? So I will show you that inside the Arduino IDE because that's what I use usually to configure my ESP boards. All right, so I now opened uh, a sketch that I will use to actually configure um, my board. So this is not about how to use ARS. There are other tutorials about that. Uh, it's basically a sketch that you will find by default when you install ARS, okay? So whenever you install ARS, for example, using the library manager from Arduino, it's very easy. You will have over there in examples, you will find a rest, so it's just right here. And you have a lot of examples, okay? And here I'm just using the one called ESP8266 Cloud. So basically what you have to set up in there is of course your Wi-Fi uh, parameters and also a device ID. So that will identify your uh, device on the cloud. Of course you could set an API key. Here I just left it out because you won't protect your device in this tutorial. I will show you that in another video, uh, how to actually protect your devices. Here we just want to control a device from the cloud dashboard. So here I already put a device ID. I put my Wi-Fi password and also the name of my Wi-Fi network. So what I will do is simply upload that to the board. So I will make sure that I'm selected the right board here. It's an Adafruit uh, board and that I have the right serial uh, port as well. And when that's done, I can simply upload that to my board.
So now the sketch is being uploaded to my board and when that's finished, I want to make sure that it's actually connected to the cloud. So I will just then open uh, the serial monitor here just to make sure that I'm actually connected to the ARS uh, cloud here. Okay, so now it's finished. I can actually open the silent monitor and I will now just like press the reset button on the board to see what's going on. Let's see here. Yep, yeah. and as you can see, there was some issue at the start that can happen when it's not well connected yet to the Wi Fi network. And I got the message that it is actually connected now to arrest.io. So let's close this and we'll go back now to our uh, dashboard. So let's go there. I will now also show you as well uh, the device that is actually connected that I showed you before, just to see uh, you know, what the status of the LED on the device itself. So now we are going to create a new dashboard. So I will just uh, call it like test dashboard. I will add it and now I can actually select this dashboard. And it's basically, as you can see, completely empty, of course, as it's new. I will go in to show edit mode. This will allow me to add a row. So basically a dashboard is working like this. You have rows, right, that you will have like this. Then inside the row, you, you will have some columns where you can actually size your uh, elements. And finally, inside each column, you can create elements that will allow you to control your, your devices. So let's have a row. It would be like just a basic row. I will add a column. I want it to be, let's say, 25% of the size because it will just be like to add two buttons to actually control uh, the LED that I have here on the board. So add column. And now I will actually add some elements and the elements will just be an on off button. Uh, the name will just be LED control and the device ID. Uh, this was this one here. I will just check that. Uh, yeah, it is indeed this one here. And I will just now add the element. So as you can see, it's online, right? So the board basically um, uh, was connected, of course, to the cloud of arrest and also it found that um, it's actually online. So the dashboard is now connected to our device. I just need to do one thing. I need to edit the element and just set a pin here just so that it, it knows right that our LED is actually connected to pin number five. So just hit on submit. And now I can actually hide this edit mode and just have my very clean uh, dashboard here. So now let's actually see what happens when I press this button. So this should basically send uh, a digital message to my board, right? So digital means that I can switch uh, pins on and off on pin number five, and this should simply turn the, the LED on. So let's try it right now. Yeah, and as you can see, the LED is now on. And just hit on off again, and it's off. And just bear in mind that this is done from the cloud, right? So you could actually create a dashboard like this and then control your devices from anywhere in the world. I will just do it one more time just to show you on and off again. So you might wonder one thing, why I didn't actually, I never set this pin, right? Pin number five to be an output. And that's because it's already done by default by the dashboard. Whenever I created this element on pin number five, it already like signaled the board to um, that pin number five should be an output. So, so that's done for you. So that's basically all that I wanted to show you inside this video. I just show you how to create uh, an account on the cloud dashboard for arrest. I show you how to configure your devices and then how to create a very simple dashboard to control your LED from anywhere in the world. So what I really invite you to do now is just to try this out, okay? Just try it out, um, just create a free dashboard account, just create your first dashboard and just play with some devices and some elements in the dashboard 
just like I showed you in this video and just take it from there to build more advanced projects using Arrest. So this will be the end of this video. Of course, if you have any questions about how to use the ARS dashboard or ARS in general, just leave them below in the comments. So thank you again for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.